goodness, you guys, I just had the most epic experience here at the Porsche Experience Center Los Angeles. I just, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm speechless. I got a chance to drive the Porsche 911 Carrera 4S around their track, do all of these incredible experiences. I'm still feeling so mind blown from what I just did. The whole reason that we're actually here is because it's Porsche's 75th anniversary and they partnered with Xbox to make six custom Xboxes uh, out of these six. Let's guess which one I picked. You're right, this one right here, that was called the Pink Pig. More on that later, but first let's get back on the track and then we'll do the unboxing. So let's walk through this entire experience. The first thing is you are greeted with your vehicle. Now you do choose your car ahead of time when you make your reservation, but when you actually get here, you're paired with a coach who will take you from zero to hero. And there's no prior professional driving experience necessary because I'm um, not gonna lie, I don't have any. First, they get you warmed up and familiar with your car and you start out slow going around some of the tracks and the obstacles, just kind of getting your bearings, you know? Just drive around, get a feel for it. Okay. Just get used to the handling circuit from the driver's side. But then before long, once they were confident enough that I could do the launch mode, we went zero to 60 to actually, I think my top speed was 117 on the straightaway and it was so much fun. And we continued to do that several more times until we had to move on. And I'm sure in the comments, some of you are gonna be like, but I've gone faster in my car. Good for you, good for you. I have not, this is, let me have my moment. Thank you. Full throttle. Are you, are you I'm ready? ready. Are you Am ready? I ready? I don't know, I don't okay. Know. Full power, three, two, one, go, off the brake. There it is, relax, deep breath, full throttle, keep it going, keep it going. All the way to that billboard, you got it, keep going, three, two, one, braking. Oh man, nice, yup. We cycled through several other obstacle courses. The one that I actually enjoyed the most was going from launch mode to slamming on the brakes as fast as we could. I think that was one of the things that I was actually most impressed with was how quickly this has the ability to, well, stop you. Which in a scenario like this, yep, that's pretty important. We then entered the low friction circle, which was probably where I struggled the most, trying not to completely spin out on this water-filled circle that we kept rotating around. See how much more we're sliding. Oh, now. shit. So, should I hit the brake or what should I, like, what's the. Uh, we're gonna learn how to counter steer. We're gonna okay. counteract the slide with our steering wheel. Off throttle, turning right, turning right. Oh, you see, we're gonna just yeah. have to turn quite okay. a bit. So, uh, should I turn faster? Yes, we'll okay. turn a little bit faster and feel free to turn as much as needed. It took me a few tries, but I did finally manage to get the hang of it. Okay, so it wasn't that time or that time. Hmm. The clip's here somewhere, I, I think. Anyway, we moved on to something even more challenging, which they were calling the kick plate. So basically this is just kind of kicking out your back wheels and it causes you to spin out very quickly. So if you're able to recover and handle it, then A plus for you. I failed the first few times, but did manage to get the last two. Do I wanna do it fast? Yes, is that, okay. that is the name of the game here. It's all reaction time. Eyes on the target, coast. Drift, coast, coast, coast. Yes, straight up, yes! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! That was awesome. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. Felt good, right? So good. That was awesome. Now using all of the skills that I've just learned, we then took a spin all the way around the course several times, each time getting a little bit faster. I think the coolest part about this is there was never a point where I ever felt uncomfortable. The coaches are there to guide you, to tell you when to brake, to accelerate, and to really let you push these cars to the limit that you're comfortable with. And with every passing lap, I was getting more comfy, more comfortable, Cozy on this course and with this car. Wanna do a few more laps? Like, whatever, whatever. Okay, we'll do a couple more. I did a few more laps and just when I thought it was over, the electric Porsche Taycan pulled up and my incredible coach that I had all day took me for a proper spin around the course. Well, the turns are so familiar. That's right. It's like a roller coaster you've already been on, but they made it a little quicker. Woo! We survived. You, we su did. you survived me driving. You're and coaching. you did amazing, so it was and easy. You're coaching. It was so, so easy. That was unbelievable. I'm disheveled. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're awesome. so welcome. It was so much fun. I gathered up my items and the Porsche Pink Pig Xbox, and it's time for lunch. Or so I thought. 
we took a slight detour first. Like at the end of any amusement park ride, there's a gift shop. All of the pink pig items of course caught my eye, so we got a backpack and a duffel and a mug and a t-shirt. Although the t-shirt was actually a kid's size, but thankfully it fit well enough. Thank you. We were all pink pigged out. We just did the entire experience. It was so much fun, but there's also a little bonus surprise. We actually get to have lunch here. I've got my new pink pig shirt on and I'm gonna unbox the Xbox upstairs while we have lunch. Let's go. I've been to a lot of restaurants in Los Angeles and I'm not gonna lie, this restaurant was actually really good. It was kind of unexpected because I was here to drive cars, not have a delicious meal. But what a treat, I got both and an Xbox unboxing on top of it. The highlight though, let's just take a moment to pause for the Porsche shaped butter. It's so cute and they even let me take a few frozen ones home. They're currently right now sitting in my freezer. The appetizers were amazing, the main course was amazing, everyone had such a delicious meal and there was even dessert. The dessert has arrived. Look at this, this is like a spectacular view. Oh, it was so good. Truly, I think I could probably make an entire full video on just my meal alone, but let's move on to the main course, the star of the show, the pink pig Xbox, and one of the reasons why I got a chance to do this experience in the first place. <gasps> I got a little tag! Okay, here's the controller. Oh, look at that. And now for the Xbox. <gasps> Here she is. This is so beautiful. Look at this. So the history of this pink pig livery is actually pretty interesting. This car was originally a one-off experimental vehicle that competed in the 1971 Le Mans. Now it was designed to create a more aerodynamic version of the 917, but with its more rounded shape, it kind of looked like a pig. So they painted the car pink with these butcher style cut marks, which is a little bit traumatic if you think about it. And then they labeled them shoulder, loin, and chop. And thus our pink pig was born. Now the car was super fast. It did have a crash, but ended up sixth overall. And now it lives on as a piece of legendary Porsche history and an Xbox. Now, unfortunately, these custom 75th anniversary Porsche Xboxes aren't for sale, but you do have an opportunity to win one if you go to PorscheXboxSweepstakes.com. Okay, this is where we shine because we can crash and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're in the sim lab. Hey, Sean, do you want to race me? Now the Sim Lab is pretty awesome. If you can't race a real car, you can actually come here and race on their professional Sims on all sorts of really famous racetracks. After playing so much Forza in my lifetime, taking what I've learned in a video game and then applying it to real life racing, there's actually quite a lot of crossover. Except for damaging a car in real life costs real money and there's no respawning. Okay, so that was really fun and um, Sean, sorry I won. He's, cry he's crying, so we took some butter to go. Oh no, one of them has flipped over. There you go. Oh, they're so cold and frozen. Mm. I'm gonna save you for breakfast tomorrow. So I'm obsessed with this wall. This is the colors of Porsche. Now this isn't all of the colors. So the color that I would pick, there's three. This is the brilliant red. Well, it's a little bit of a lighter color, or pink pig. I don't think they have it exactly here, but it's called chalk. And this is kind of a similar color to it. This is the dolphin gray. Every time I see one of those chalk Porsches out on the road, my heart melts. I cannot say enough great things about this experience. I've lived in Los Angeles for so long, and this place has been here for seven years, and I never came to it until today. So if you are in Los Angeles, if you're ever visiting, definitely come check it out, make a reservation, take one of the cars out of the track. But for those of you that are here for the Xbox, you can get a chance to win one of those at PorscheXboxSweepstakes.com. So good luck to all of you that enter, and I look forward to seeing who wins. With that, my friends, I'm gonna go do a little car shopping. <laughs> so many to pick from.